Hello everyone and thanks for joining me. Today I am unboxing the Pusheen Winter 2018 Culture Fly box. Here it is. I love them. They always love the outside of these boxes. Look at that. How cute is that? You've got Pusheen's face there, body, the tail, and of course, feet. So without further ado, let's have a look at this. I have been very careful at the moment to avoid spoilers because I really wanted to, this to be a surprise. So remove the plastic. Go. Open up the box. Da, da, da. And this is what we're going to see inside. Whoops. There goes the card. What have we got here? What is this? Wow. Alright, I'll just put the card to the side. And let's start with the first one, which I can see. <laughs> oh, here's a pair of Pusheen earmuffs. Would you look at that? Keep your ears nice and warm. It is actually summer here in Australia at the moment, so um, not quite so helpful right at the moment, but certainly in winter time. Um, I may have to pull these out and, and give them a bit of a wear. It's uh, not too shabby. All right, we have, let's have a look at this item here. This looks like perhaps some sort of blanket. Uh, roll this. What have we got? No, it's got buttons. Is it? Oh, here's a blanket, sort of, like a poncho. Wow. Let's have a look at this. So, I'm guessing this is the hood that you can put on there. And <laughs> bring this around here. And we have ourselves, oh yeah, and it up here. Maybe if I can get this. There we go. Clip it on. And you probably can't, um, if I stand up, it's probably going to lose it. But yeah, there's a, another snap there. I don't know. I'll have to play with that. But that's, uh, that is very cool. It's probably going to just be one for on the couch. I would say. But look at that hood. That's really cute. You know, they do have to always come up with different ideas for these. They can't just give you a jumper every winter box. So I'll just put this one over here. So here we have a larger box, and I think this may be the vinyl figure. It, it is. It's a larger vinyl figure than usual. And I actually, and everything everywhere and here we have the boxes vinyl figure for this month pushing with me which are oh. what's um pushing's pushing's brother I think it is to remember his name and there we have with a snowman interesting snowman and pushing's about to put the other arm on the snowman very cute. What else do we have here? We have a pair of cozy Pusheen socks. Love it. Just, you know, nice there. Pusheen's got a festive hat on. I don't seem to have a particular size to these, so I hope they look about right. They're pretty stretchy. No worries at all. Pusheen cozy socks. We have Pusheen Holiday Greeting Cards. Let me open these up for some little, maybe. Have a look. Don't seem to have a. Right, there we go. It is now past Christmas, so I'm a bit too late to be using these. But maybe next year I can send someone a Pusheen card. It's just blank on that one. 
they're both just blank on the inside so really add your own message and the oh the card even the envelope is made of like card instead of just paper interesting so there we go machine greeting cards and what else do we have here we have Pusheen Latte Sensils. Well, this is awesome. This will go down a real treat at work where we have a coffee machine. I'm going to have to buy some like a chocolate sprinkle. We don't normally do that. But, sorry. Ah! Oh, here we go. Scissors here. Let's open these up and have a look. So these are just like flimsy plastic, but that's okay. So there's a Pusheen sitting like on a in a cup, maybe. Just a nice outline of Pusheen and a Pusheen with a nice big bow. There we go. So you can make yourself a nice cappuccino latte and uh, put a Pusheen pattern on it. If I had a coffee machine at home, I'd take my camera out and try one and show you, but I don't. So um, you'll have to imagine what a coffee would look like with a cute pushing on top. So there we go. Looks like we've got two more items. The next one is a garland. So like a decorative garland. Uh, I'm not going to open this one up. I'll leave it in its bag for now. Because, again, it's past Christmas, um, the time for hanging up these sorts of decorations has passed for this year. But I can keep this aside for next year for some decorative cushion. And the last item I'm seeing here, which I'm really enjoying, is a two-pack of cushion pillowcases. And these are going to go straight on my bed because... I just have plain pillowcases on my bed, so if you've got plain pillowcases, why wouldn't you prefer to have Pusheen ones? So, what's this say? <laughs> oh, <laughs> look at this. Okay, all right, hopefully this, I'll show this, hopefully this shows me. Morning, the front of Pusheen, and we've got night with the back of Pusheen. Isn't that cool? That's so cool. I really love that. That's an awesome pillowcase. And I wonder if is the other one the same? The other one's the same. That's fine. Uh, you could swap them around. You could uh, have them both facing up the same way. Or if you don't actually make your bed like me, they'll be facing up whichever way that they normally face. So, you know, even if you don't use it as a pillowcase, you make a great, you know, just bag for for containing things in. Whenever I go traveling, I always take a pillowcase with me to use as a laundry bag. Um, so lots of different options. Although, you know, unless you've got a really fancy bedroom where you've got specifically matching curtains and quilt covers and all the rest of it, then uh, why wouldn't you put your pushing pillowcases on at least sometime? So, and that is it. That's all that's in the box, um, but it's um, a pretty great box. I really do enjoy this Pusheen Culture Fly box. Um, it's pretty good value, um, particularly if I look at it in Australian dollars. So let's do that. Let's just go back and do a recap. So first of all, we got our, um, oh, actually the back, the card, which is also very cute. I should show you this. The, the, there's the card that comes with it, with the information about what's actually contained in the box. So um, that might actually. So it is a hooded blanket. Okay. So the the, the snaps are of the snaps of is just to be able to hold it in place, which is really actually quite nice. So um, I'll be looking forward to using that blanket on my couch in the future. So let's. Let's um, do a little uh, Australian pricing to see what sort of value we got. So I pay about $100 for this box that's delivered. Um, it comes in pretty good time compared to some of the other subscription boxes. So it takes two, normally about two weeks. Um, this time it took about 
bit over three weeks, but that's because it was around Christmas time. So obviously there's a bit of, you know, it's, it's, it's slower. So let's see, first up we've got our nice vinyl figure. This is a really nice vinyl figure. As a comparison, I just paid $19 for this uh, Kusheen Pop vinyl today. So, which is very cute and I, I'm not complaining about paying $19 for this Pop vinyl by any means. But as a comparison, you know, it's very, very similar. So. I'll happily give the Pusheen vinyl figure $20 in value. The hooded blanket, um, I would say for an, uh, in Australian retail, would easily be worth $40. It's not something I've, I've, I've ever seen in, in one of our shops, mind you, but you know, um, any Pusheen branded product is going to be pretty, pretty uh, expensive in the first place. It's a nice blanket, it's it's well designed, it's got the extra snaps and everything, so I'm going to give that 40. We've got our Pusheen socks, which uh, are really lovely, I'll give those $10. Um, maybe, you know, it could be a little bit higher, but I'll, I'll keep things on the lower side retail. So there's 40, 20, so up to 70. The Pusheen pillowcases. Um, it's a set of two pillowcases. Um, I would give that twenty dollars for two. So really needed to have a calculator in here. Um, 40, 60, 80, 90. <laughs> the earmuffs, I don't even know how to begin to price these. Um, I, earmuffs is, is not something we usually see much in Australia, let alone pushing ones. So. Um, Look, I'm going to give these $20 because it's it's almost like two plushies together. <laughs> if you're going to buy these in a shop, then yeah, it would be at least $20. So let's give that another 20 so That's 20 40 80 100 110 um, The Pusheen Garland, we'll just give that 10 um, They're very nice. Um, it's the kind of thing you might find in one of the party stores somewhere. But because it's again Pusheen branded and Pusheen stuff very expensive here, it would be at least ten dollars, if not more. But let's be conservative, because that makes another ten. So that's one twenty. The little latte stencils, you know, look, they're made of plastic, but it's Pusheen again. So let's give that five. So that's one twenty-five, and we'll give the greeting cards five dollars as well. And so that adds up to, if I'm not mistaken, sixty. 80, 100, 110, 125, 130, $135 conservatively of retail value for Australia and I paid $100 so I'm getting more value for my box than if I went out and purchased these items separately. Um, having said that, you know, I wouldn't, you know, because of subscription boxes you wouldn't necessarily go out and purchase all these items separately, um, but at the same time, I would buy a Pusheen throw blanket, so I'm, you know, very happy with that. I love these pillowcases. I would buy those in a heartbeat if I saw them in a in a shop. I would probably pay more than twenty dollars for a pair like that. And and the socks, I love. I'm, um, you know, you can't go wrong with socks. And then the others, especially these very silly earmuffs, <laughs> are um just an addition. Oh yeah, and the the, the vinyl figurine. I mean, I, yeah, I do have a bit of a pop vinyl collection, so I quite enjoy. A good vinyl figurine. Um, so yeah, so overall, um, really lovely box. I, I would recommend if you're a Pusheen fan. I, I could easily recommend this to anybody that you uh, purchase this box if you've uh, uh, if you're able to, if you've got the spare money to to be able to do it. Um, um, it always contains a good mix of useful items and decorative items. And there's yeah, there's probably a couple of things that you would go, okay, I'm, I'm not quite sure what to do with that, but you could always give them away as gifts or or sell them like on an eBay or a, or a spy swap sell site or something. So um, it's really not too bad. But um, that's all I have uh, for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I um, hope you have a pleasant day and I will see you again next time. Thank you and bye.